Hey, what's up, y'all? This is JK, JKS Tech Lab. Back with another video. Today, I just want to talk about the Microsoft Certified um, Security Compliance and Identity Fundamentals and just kind of talk about some of the stuff I use to prepare and why I decided to do this one instead of the Azure Fundamentals. So for me, I'm, I dig Azure. Like, I, you know, I've used AWS for years in my own business, but when it comes to the actual interface, um, just the actual Azure portal and some of the tools and stuff like that. I do find myself a little bit more drawn to Azure. Um, it could be my background as a system administrator, MCSA, different stuff like that. But anyway, so after I did the certified cloud practitioner, even though I had been studying um, for the Azure fundamentals for a lot, you know, I went through this book, I went through their trainings. I did that actually last year, even before I did the AWS stuff. Um, I felt like I wanted to know more. I was more interested in the security side of things, you know, so, you know, all the security, like obviously the security tools, Sentinel and all the different stuff, but also like, how are they handling governance? Uh, how are they handling um, IAM or identity access management or identity protection or how are they protect an information? How are they doing, you know, information governance, identity governments, all this, all this other stuff. That's the type of stuff that was interesting to me. So that's what I study. For me, um, it's not about just passing exams. Like I study the things that I'm interested in that I think will help me in my own career. So, um, yeah, I picked up, obviously, I picked up the book. You don't need to get the book. I just sometimes like to get these books. These are really cool. I like to go through them. Uh, but the first thing I would suggest if you're interested in this is going through the actual Microsoft Learn path. And one thing I want you to know is this is not Azure specific. This is Microsoft security. So it's not just Azure security. It's also M365. And that's why I like it because even if an enterprise isn't using Azure, they most likely are probably using M365. So being able to understand how to do security there as well as Azure is, is what made me kind of go for this. So yeah, I went through all that. Um, answered the little uh, knowledge questions at the end of those. Next thing I went through was this Pluralsight course, Microsoft Azure Security and Privacy Concepts. Really cool course, um, maps to a lot of the same stuff, but again, just a different perspective. Next, I went through the security documentation. Um, so just documentation on all the tools that you're trying to learn about. Definitely, I suggest going through this. If you come across something that you maybe know a little bit about or you want to learn more about, just go through the documentation, read about it. It doesn't take long, but that really helps solidify some of the understanding on these tools. Also, I did one of the Microsoft virtual training days. And I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest on this one. This virtual train. Now, this is a good place to start if you don't have any knowledge of what's being covered yet. For me, I kind of already knew everything that they were going to go over in this because it is for the fundamentals. But the main reason that I took this was to get the free voucher, to be honest. Like, I know that they give away free vouchers on some of these training days. So I knew what tests that I wanted to take. So I went and looked to see if they had a training day for it. And they did. And I wanted to see if it was they were giving away a voucher. They were. So I signed up for it. It's like two days. I did it in the evening. It was maybe like three three to four hours each day. So really cool. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with, you know, getting a good overview again. So definitely, definitely um, suggest doing that. Now, like I said, this is not just about Azure. It's also M365. The biggest help for me, especially with the M365 and the admin and all the different tools and security is setting up this developer sandbox. So uh, a lot of the different tools that you're going to learn about require different licenses, whether it's a premium free, you know, or, you know, premium to whatever, whatever it is, some of the tools you can only get with the higher licenses. And instead of going out and purchasing a license to, to kind of play around and learn it, sign up for a developer sandbox. What the developer sandbox does is it gives you pretty much an entire enterprise um, subscription for 90 days. You get like, is it 15? It's either 15 or 25 users. So they, they set up users, they set up teams, they set up all this data in there, email inboxes, all that stuff is in there. And you get an actual E5 license, which is the enterprise license, which gives you access to everything. It, it's the premium license. So you can actually play with all the tools, learn about all the tools, see how they work and different stuff like that. And there's a bunch of um, just fake, fake data in there and everything. So I highly suggest if you are interested in managing m365 at all 
you know, for whatever it is, even if it's not security, just managing it at all, sign up for a developer sandbox. It will help you tremendously. That You know, just going through those tools probably helped me more than any of the courses, any of the practice tests, anything. Just going through the tools, reading about them, because you got tips and stuff inside there, you know, to learn about the tools. Sometimes it'll take you to documentation. So being able to go through there and actually set that stuff up, look at different things, seeing what different sections look like really, really helps. So I definitely suggest doing that. And as far as like practice exams, uh, they had, you can see right here, some free sample questions. I downloaded those, went through those. It was like 25 questions. So I did that. I also did their uh, measure up. They're supposed to be Microsoft's official partner, I suppose. Um, so I did that one. I really like this exam. And one thing I like about the measure up, if you haven't used them before, they have a study mode where you could put, you could put it in study mode, but you could say, instead of having it show every answer it'll only show you the answers on the ones that you miss and for me the way that i use um, practice tests i kind of use them the same way people use flashcards i like to just repetitively go through see first i see where i'm at study then i come back and try to go through stuff so in that study mode being able to just go through answer the questions if, if the answer came up i knew i got it wrong so i would take notes go study on it whatever and then and then keep going through like that so definitely check that one out um this this section right here or this test over on Udemy, really, really good test. Um, now this test, <laughs> compared to all the other tests, way harder, way harder. That's That was on purpose, but this was this these test questions were way harder than anything you would probably see in any of the other test questions. But I like that because it makes you think, it, it, it makes you think about what you've learned, it makes you apply it, and you gotta really make sure you understand the concept. So I definitely suggest um, picking this one up if you're interested in doing uh, this exam. And then finally, I did uh, Wiz Labs. So again, Wiz Labs, great exams, uh, great explanations, and then, you know, links to documentation and stuff like that. So as you can see from me, uh, I like to get as much variety as I can. I get bored. So <laughs> I like to get a, as much variety as I can. I feel like even with the different practice tests, they ask questions differently um, with the different videos or the different study material everybody comes at it from a different angle and for me that's beneficial um, and that's how i like to learn so yeah i would definitely suggest this for anybody that is interested in not just azure security but like i said m365 security so even if you're not using azure or your employer is not using azure I'm, I'm they're probably using m365 a lot of enterprises are using m365 so being able to understand security in both of those and you know obviously azure and m365 are kind of you know they're kind of just i say they're kind of one and the same obviously they're different you can use one or the other but there's definitely integration even if you're just using m365 there's azure active directory behind it so there's stuff like that so definitely if you're interested in that if you're interested in compliance um, if you're interested in governance, if you're interested in information protection, privacy, different things like that, definitely I would suggest, you know, starting with this just to get an idea of how Microsoft approaches things and then you can go on from there. So uh, let me know what you think. Hopefully this answers questions. If you have any further questions about this exam or kind of, you know, what Microsoft is doing, feel free to ask. Till next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.